What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire to the Wall. Let's play is the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode, uh, we are going to attack the city of Berlin with a whole bunch of reinforcements. And what I'm going to want to do is do a bit of an old switcheroo. Because the very last thing I want is more artillery across the board. I do not want more artillery. Or cavalry, really. I just want infantry. You know, lots and lots of infantry. Some cavalry. I don't mind some. I just really don't want artillery. So it's one way. Let me swordsman up front. Hindu warriors, I don't mind so much. Okay, they have no howitzers, so what we need to do is we need to destroy as many sections of the wall as we can. Then the guns that we have in action, uh, we'll want to pull them back and withdraw them. So that we can bring in some reinforcements. Just to get a little bit more infantry into the fight. Um, we're likely to lose a good number of brave Mysoreans here. But I think it's worthwhile um, trying to take the German capital. So let's see how we get on. I'm fairly, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we should be okay. This is gonna be, it's just gonna be a bit of a bloody action. But I want, I want to create as many roots in as we can get. And I think we can get four on the front of a European fort. Let me put you back here. Just you're that much closer. Oh, yes I can. You're way, way back. Okay, so I can broadly put one melee troop per gap. Let's put the Seek. Musketeers with the Seek Warriors. Because we'll bash you with you guys. The Seek Warriors with his Lemon Swordsmen. Because we'll bash you with the Gurkhas. There we go. So each breach has got two assault units. That leaves three assault units to. Ideally, what I want them to do is, or maybe not stand right there. What I want them to do is to attack this feature and storm over and try and secure the shoulders of the gate. Cavalry's not useless, I'm just uh, not going to be using it quite so much at the minute. I may actually put these guys off to one side, I really don't want them getting shot by the guns. Bring back these horsemen. So you guys all attack one section of the wall. Cool. Let's knock some holes in the wall. Then we will push. We are taking some losses. But with all the artillery we've got, we should make short work. And then we'll try to take out this section here. Then go for this section, because they're actually manning guns and shooting at us. And they might seem stupid, but that one gun, plinking, can do quite a surprising amount of damage. Right. Frank or line, militia... If they've got their lifeguard up here, that'll make attacking this feature a bit more risky, but we have to fight them somewhere. Yeah, we can destroy this piece, we can destroy these features here. One more, we'll kill a few Swiss line. Boom. Perfect. Grenadiers. I mean, here's all their cavalry. Really heavy cavalry at that. So they're going to be. Correct. 
Fusiliers. That's a smart play for the AI. They may end up forming a bit of a, a pocket around the wall. It's just not a bad idea. Because the AI loves doing that. So these three are just to get into shooting position. You guys get up just to move into position. Apologies, sneeze came in. We'll kill a few Prussian Freyjäger. Okay, yeah, they're holding this area quite well, so that's why I'm tempted to try and create a bit of a... bit of a uh, pocket around this feature, because then I can start tr either firing muskets into the breach, or they may actually push out to try and defend it. To speed up time. If they sit on there for too long, they're going to lose a whole bunch of Prussian Freyjäger, which is which would be very nice. Some, but not loads. Something like that. See if we can lure them in. If not, my assault troops will end up getting into position. Aha! The 50th Regiment. You think if they push out, that that this will be working like a dream. They're going to be engaged by this unit of Hindu Musketeers, but only some of them. Oh, there we go, now they're pushing out. Perfect! Smash up the head of the column. Yes, yeah, so they've also gone to cover this breach, so let's... Turn these musketeers fire it will off. Start to move them up here. Too much move my camels or my cavalry all over to the right. Are all of the guns firing, or is one of them? No, they're all firing. Good. For you, one battery. Fire shells at the 50th. They're sat in the breach. They're, they're right for the killing. But once we've made our breach, there we go. Killed a bunch of guys at the top. Okay, right, let's make you guys go for that section. This 24 pounder unit just keeps slamming shots into the breach. They're pushing out even more. So yeah, this area doesn't destroy the state of the steps, you can still run off, but it's, it's created another route in through all these little rat runs. Cavalry's coming. They're committing. I mean, oh, you guys can't even form square. Is that my swordsman pushed up? So we're starting to pick off the Curacier Guard. Okay, 
big old cavalry charge. Make our warriors run up. How more mercenaries will get a volley off? Ah, they're going after my skirmish cavalry. That's a little simplistic, don't you think? Hit them in the flank. Spin my light cavalry around. Get them involved as well. Indian Musketeers form square. Push my Gurkhas up. That's my Islamic sword, but make sure my camel mercenaries are fire it all off so they don't just gun them down. Brave Prussian Guardsmen. Nothing to him. You guys form square again. Excellent. Cavalry form up again. And then swordsmen form up. Garcia guard, we can shatter it, perfect. Let's try to get you guys up on the hill. Well you can try to get you guys you guys up here and you can fire into the breach or into the set into the square, which would be really useful. The sooner you guys knock down this section of the wall, the sooner you guys go home. All right, you men, withdraw. Taking a bit of a hammering, they're taking a, a, yeah, they're taking quite a hammering. But yeah, if you guys can get up here, you just fire at will off it down into the center, and that's fine. If we can get 50th to route, then my melee troops will go in. Your yeah, cavalry charge. There's another Curiosity Guard unit coming in. These guys always withdraw till they're limbered, and then you have to make them withdraw again. Okay, let's begin. No, let's not begin the squeeze per se. So shooting down the cavalrymen of the horse of the of the cuirassier guard. These guys can't form square, so they're relying on this musketry. I go for the Hindu musketeers, I was going to say. I go for the Hindu musketeers, not a problem because we just form square. Keep the lances for now, just get the swordsmen in. Gurkhas in. Hurrah! Reinforcements are here. Actually, no, don't push in. There's Curiosity Guard right there. If I can get these guys up on the hill, give them an order to run onto the walls slightly differently than where they were before, they'll stretch out a bit more. So 
Excellent. It's the new man. Get up onto a wall and secure one of the gates. Although they're getting mown down. We'll fire it off for you guys. I want these guys to man the fire step and take shots at the cuirassier guard. I don't want my, anyone to push in yet. You're going to mow down those militia. It's your Gurkhas, damn it. These Islamic swordsmen can just advance to, to the gate. Because these guys are going to secure the... Secure this feature, then push in and secure the gatehouse. My Islamic swordsman can then get in. You may hold. You two guys get into position. They fire their pistols at us. There we go. This is what I want. Not to say it's going to be massively effective, but it's just going to be constant withering fire. Especially when they're being engaged by the 8th Regiment. Get my Gurkhas in against the Dragoons. Got a lot of the Swiss lines. There's only one left. The Officer. Could feasibly bust straight through here. But if I can get my Islamic Swordsmen in behind the lines, that will cause a lot more chaos. You're just happily picking away the 9th Regiment. Gurkhas have ran the complete wrong way to charge these guys. They are running the opposite way. Pathfinding. Don't you love it? See, they're wavering from being picked off by the 8th. It does some good damage to the horse guards. Let's bring my general up, although he can't really get involved. The fire will off. Let's begin the actual strategy. All my cavalry just get in. I don't want them to get stuck at the. I don't want them to get stuck in the breach, but that might be the way it has to go. A Royal Colour Infantry Guards can secure the gatehouse. my coverage to charge the lifeguards. They're going to get backed up by some melee infantry when it comes in. There you go. Swordsmen can, can get in. These guys are gradually Okay, you're going to secure this gatehouse and get in as well. Musketeers push in, form up. Hindu musketeers push in, form up. Zobashi push in here. Gurkhas get in, and the Lancers get in, ready to push this way. You men engage the Fusiliers. come over here and dismount the wall. You secure the command HQ. Gurkhas, get over here. These two units are going to provide, are going to get into good positions to fire. Keep the lancers pushing along the front as well. So you'll shoot around across the board. 
We're all clearing for tree guards. You can dismount if you like. Oh, you got stakes here as well. If I can make them do that, they should run around them. Hit the Prussian for our Jaeger. A couple of guys are going to get caught. But you're going to smack these guys to the rear. I think they can do some sniping. You're just going to have to get stuck in. You can't just sit here and wait. Volleys into the eight. Advancing forward. Okay, let's put you guys like so. And this unit of Kizobashi form up. And then you guys do the same. Kill the enemy general. Royal Clare Infantry Guards hit the 6th Regiment because they've flank they flanked us. You then go for the Grenadier Guards. Not to really, I don't expect them to beat the Grenadier Guards in a one-on-one -on -one fight, but they'll hold them up. Okay, you guys actually might come out instead because that's going to cause a bit of havoc everywhere. Kill the last of the Prussian Freyjäger. And then the fight for the tunnels. Oh, Islamic Swordsmen have made it through. Who have you been hit by? The 17th. Yeah, you men secure the square and begin firing. You men start running. The 8th Regiment has been quite badly depleted. There we go. We now hold the square. The Swordsmen are going to hit the Grenadiers. Camels in here. And the cavalry to engage the enemy that is still fighting at the front to try and stop us from getting in. Freikor plus Fry Jaeger. Okay, you just push in and kill them yourself. These units push in and attack the grenadiers. All of you men attack the 6th regiment, that's all that's left. Ah, and they're shattered. That's all that's left for these grenadiers, probably. Yeah, they're the only ones that, aren't, that haven't routed. There they go. No, that was a lot, but that didn't go, so that went quite well. Nice. So Berlin is taken, that's quite a significant blow for Prussia. It's a warning shot for Russia. Hurrah. Oh, you executed an agent. Even better. So let's get building. Naturally, they will hate us. Get repairing. Destroy the university. I think that might do it. Yeah, the university alone will do it. But we're going to build this into a madrasa and get converting population. Rostock can be repaired. So you're replenishing our navy's in okay shape. You push out of the navy, push out of the port here. Rembrandt, go into port. I oh know Lubeck's no good. New men get out of our hoose. Rembrandt, get into our hoose and repair. Nice. Get our agent to have a poke around it. Ah, oh, I should have. Okay. He was in the way, so then so now he's decided to run around, and you know what? I don't actually mind because I can run through a lot of Russian territory there, so we'll get some good intelligence. So you're gonna hold. This army is reinforcing. These troops should be on the way to reinforce. Yes, there they are. Actually, no, you're going to them. Oh, there we go. So 
So can you guys leave the Netherlands now? You can. Excellent. Join the front. Our spy is going to hop out. Go have a look at Königsberg. We can see what these guys do. Because ultimately a lot, all these armies are replenishing, really. You're all going to just sit here. Because you're not trying to push, you're just trying to block anyone trying to get through these mountains here. I don't think about those. I mean, you're just unhappy, Hanover. Religious unrest is high. Let's get converting. Um, but I think I'm probably... Actually, first of all, I'm going to go to India. We don't have any armies that are freshly recruited. You've got three slots. One, two. Is there anyone on, anyone on the on the way? Doesn't look like it. He's stationary. Get another Hindi musketeer unit. They're always dependable. And that'll be another army ready. Common labourer. Steady under fire. Attacking general. Corporal in gold braid. Let's hit end turn. There we go, we're building up near Dagestan. Great Britain offers an alliance for money. It's t it's tempting to do, because when the war with Russia happens, they may actually help us. Maybe. So I'll postpone our war against Britain, which I don't mind. Because I think ultimately we're going to be fighting Russia soon enough. Yeah, the gentlemen are all displacing. Don't worry. We'll take Dresden, and it's on to Prague. Here come the Russian waves. Good. Prussia pushed one back. Pushed another one back. Good, 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 good. I don't mind the Prussian, the Prussian Navy if they're doing if they're up to mischief in the east. I care about it if they're in the west. And there goes the Dagestan Navy. Not that I mind. Quebec's going to Quebec. Here come the Mexican rebels. Just auto that. <laughs> So they may run around and do more raiding, but I don't care. The main thing is Mexico comes under our control. And I'm happy to f for that to take as long as it takes. Right, 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 right. Rioting in Hanover. Yeah, they broke the steam engine factory. See, now they're partly Islamic. Although religious unrest has gone up. Fleet arrives. Uh, you, I can't remember explicitly what you were uh, about. Two more armies, though. I'm not sniffing at that. One of you is going to land ready for the invasion of England. And one of you... Going to land at Kugsaven and get ready to push against Dresden. You men secure the bridges. Okay, let's get you. Should rather have you in Hanover. You're more interesting, so I'd rather have you nearby to defend Dresden, but I fear you will be 
intercepted by armies from well not intercepted but you will be impacted by armies from Prague so if I put Prague under siege give them a bit of cover you can't hit Dresden but you can And you're reinforced. You can actually, if you get down to here, if you go for Prague, oh, that means they're not okay. Cool. So if we take both these cities. Prussia's done. I think we have to do it. Oh, show. Okay, do the same thing again. One thing we don't want is a lot of cavalry and infantry, even light infantry. I don't mind. I mean, I'd rather have the heavier stuff, because those melee troops coming in were super useful. You know what, I'll just pull all my... It's, it's quicker if I just pull all the cannons to the back. Whatever comes in, comes in. I don't even mind cavalry coming in first, to be honest. Didn't even swap one of them. Okay, let's go take Dresden. So if we take Dresden, take Prague. Prussia's gone, done for. We can form our line and get ready to launch our... or to get ready to fight our war against Russia, because that's going to happen. So my frontier towns, they're going to need armies at the front, and they're also going to need uh, a stack of reserves in each city ready to push forward and fill in any gaps. Make war that we may live in peace. Good stuff. So I'm going to try and use a similar strategy to what we pulled off in Berlin. Even got the same gun solutions. Okay, so broadly speaking... One, two, three, four... Each one of those gets a infantry unit, just for a bit of firepower. I think if we pull largely just the same manoeuvre, that would work. Actually, I might drop, put the gunners back here. just because they're a little bit closer to the edge of the map. Aim for that section of the wall, please. Got the great gun next to 24 pounders. Oh, we're getting in. So they don't have any, well, fortunately, because they're packed to the gills, they don't have any um, mortars that could complicate things. Down to 50%. We've taken a bit of a hammering from their first volley. 62%. But it's partly because all the guns reload at different speeds. If we get a good hit now, we'll get a good number of kills. They're firing from the other section of the wall. Couple of misses there, not ideal. There we go, the 24 pounders will bring it down. Good kills. And go for that section. And then like we did before, Take our uh, one assault brigade, one assault unit, second assault unit. The 
all of you guys aim at that. Aim at the second breach to the side. They've all dug in, ready to fortify. This time I'm going to send a sword unit around to secure this wall. Actually, I might just use... I might just use a musketeer unit just to do exactly the same thing again. As they pull the men off the wall here, get some guys up here, fire into the square. And then fold these swordsmen into units that are going to attack through the breach. Okay, let's speed up time, because again, we'd, all we're doing is moving into position and knocking down walls, and I think watching that in real time is okay, but it's kind of not what, not what we're about. Not you. Your mercenaries. Seventy four per cent, they'll soon be down. Another volley, ninety two per cent. There we go, and the 39th foot guards are going to come out and play. Actually, they're going to charge. Gun down the officer. He's right there. Oh, that was a great shot watching the head of that column just crash. So they are going to make it into the line. Hindu warrior is going to counter charge. The guerrilla mercenaries are coming out as well. Hello, lots of things are coming out. Form a square. You are more than enough to deal with those guerrilla mercenaries. Hindu warriors chip away at the last some of these guard decor guys. I mean, look at him. He should collapse in a heap of quivering mess. These assault units move up. Oh, lots of routing. So I might put these Islamic swordsmen up here, just in case they get any ideas about pushing up here. Try and push my Hindu musketeers off the wall. Human reload. Oh, there's more of them pushing out. They're after my Kizobashi. Bring my Islamic swordsman back. Indy warriors can stay where they are. Gunners go after the next 
Bastion. And this one's going to be a lot less problematic because lots of their cavalry is lighter and weaker. Well, they're actually forced to go in their guards and cross. Yeah, that's not terrible. So he says they're winning decisively. But that's okay. They need to win extraordinarily well to deal with the. Oh, this is it. This they are. They want to turn this into something. That's right, Fusiliers. You better back off. Bring my general out. There goes the garrison militia. To be honest, you guys mob the Fusiliers, because Fusiliers do not like melee combat. Fusiliers hate being attacked by men with pointy sticks. God damn. Run in, run in, run in. Na, 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 na. This area is completely undefended. Throwing all of their weight behind this attack. Gunners withdraw. Throw in the Lanvin militia, the regular militia. <laughs> They've woken up. Something going, wait a minute, this is a bad thing, isn't it? Send some whirling dervishes in against the guys to the rear. They're going to put a volley in, and that's fine. We're just going to ignore them. So. I mean, I said ignore them. Why are you running towards them? Warm up on the square. Push the infantry forward to attack the square. Cavalry. Pivot to engage the enemy force here. Because we're starting to get outnumbered. So we need some heavy hitters. And heavy hitters we got. There we go, we're on the square. Attack those gunners. Form a square. These lances and those dervishes attack the enemy. These Kizabashi come in here. The lances knock out the cavalry. You're going to push and attack the garrison guards. Elephants having a grand old time against the enemy militia. Are you going to push around the rear? Oh, poor old dervishes. They're in a bit of a bind. Run away, cavalry, run away. Let get my native lances out of the way. My dervishes can take out the sharpshooters. Let 
these guys are just going to collapse now that they've now that it's started. How about you? Got some superior line. If you're in a horse grenadier guards, that'll be the problem. There we go. Everyone attack the 13th Regiment of Militia, because that's all that's left standing. And now it's broken, so now you guys all go in against these men that are holding. One last cavalryman. Take him out. It doesn't matter if he resets our timer. Yeah, okay. you men get over here. Actually, you go here. Bolster the our current dervish front line. Go get him. Dervishes versus Crusier militia and guerrilla mercenaries. the Cassier trying to break through but we're going to bog them down with another set of hatchet wielding maniacs garrison guards are breaking they've broken I think that's everyone's going to have broken soon you can squeeze the remaining enemy units There we go. Hatchet wielding maniacs, kill him! Nice. Very nice indeed. But the victory is not complete until we take Prague. Keep building. Get replenishing. Actually, let's check out. Okay, let's not do too much building in New Spain. Except for these guys, they're out of the way. You're out of the way. That's not enough. Yeah, school, top tier buildings. Oh. Upgrade this in Greece. I mean, yeah, Hanover rioted, but that's not terror. That's not the end of the world. You know, this one is trickier because they've got mortars, and mortars cause a lot more upset. In which case, cavalry isn't that bad. Because then, what we want to do is just open up as many gates as we can. And it means when we attack, we're going to attack um, rather than doing what we did before, where we made a breach, pushed up, and gradually increased the pressure. What we're going to do is we are going to uh, make all the holes in the wall and then swarm forward immediately. That's going to be our plan. So, let's get to it. All right. Okay, I'm going to deploy over here. High ground might mean we actually get better oversight of the of the square. So our howitzers may be able to do something a little bit more than just... Our artillery, rather, may be able to do something a little bit more than just fire, then run. I mean, you guys might... You, these infantry units, may actually stay over here just to push one of the, one of the walls. I'll give you some cavalry support.
And the mortars. Ah, the mortars are outside of the wall and they're on the move. Come on then, let's start. Let's get the general. Okay, let's keep retreating until we get useful reinforcements. The mortar batteries are on the move, so I'm not expecting us to be out of the... Actually, to be honest, skirmish cavalry. Go kill this unit. Sacrificing a light cavalry unit to take out one of their mortar units is a pretty good deal. I suppose these are um, field artillery pieces, not garrison mortars. Garrison mortars are fixed. There we go. What is that? A misfire? Anyway, who are you shooting at? Sure, where you're shooting, it must be somewhere over there. But yeah, knock out a second wall. Ah, okay, right, in which case. This one's going to be a lot bloodier. We're going to have to just push in as soon as we get the chance, which means we're going to lose a lot more men. But this is, it makes sense this one's a bit more of a roll of the dice because it is the last Russian stronghold. Sarge, Gendarmerie, Swiss Pikes are scary, but... See, if we push into the breach, if they try to quicklime us... If, we try click if they try to quicklime us, they'll be causing quicklime damage to their own men. Give these guys orders. Actually, they might try. Yes, yes, they're trying to put. They're going to push out. Melee infantry hold position. Camels advance. That's right. Come on and get me. One camels, get in. That's right, you're going to quick climb your own guys. The camels are going to do a lot of good here. Let's try route the light infantry first. Try route the engineers. 
launch on into the line. The infantry. The infantry head towards the breach. Just block it up. My camels go for the hussars. My infantry push towards the breach instead. Yep, yeah, they're committing. This is going to be a good old fashioned melee fight. Okay, where's my tahi? Go for the regiment of horse that are hitting our line. Elephant cease fire. Just stay close. So one unit of semi-swordsman units. Actually, to be honest, you guys just push up. Yeah, they're getting some hits, but my god. This is going to be unpleasant for the enemy. Where's my Hindu warriors? There they are. Get in. Push, push, push. New men running over and secure the gate. Ooh. Angry elephant guys. Push them. Kill them all. Not gonna send in my general, there's pikes over there. We've secured the gate. Skirmish cavalry, get in. you push over actually you attack these mortars these men push over to the rear my melee troops are going to be okay not sure you're completely not finding the right way okay, my range troops get over to the breach and help the fight there my melee troops are more than enough to look after these gendarmerie chaps there we go, they've come after us. You men just charge into them. Actually, don't charge, just get here and start firing. Skirmish cavalry! You men run in. Leave the one unit that's currently fighting the militia. There you go, they're having to pull some of their strength back. them. We're hitting the heavy heavy guard artillery. Let's get these men in to help fight against the pikes because they're going to chew my militia, my infantry to bits. Clear them out, clear them out of the centre, and then we'll push into the pipes. There you go, here comes the elephants. Push through the breach, man. I want my Spahi over here to smack the pikes. Go get him. No, come on, push. Pikes are your mortal enemy, Tsipahi. You hate them above all others. last cavalryman that keeps resetting the timer I don't think we can actually they just keep running away charge into the rear of the fight here I 
Keep pushing to kill the enemy general. Humans kill the square. Get this Islamic swordsman into the fight. Yeah, men are getting flung back by the by the elephants. Very few pikemen left now. Here comes a Hindu warrior unit. We're just starting to break. We're just starting to see some of our units. Oh, if we've gone up to 27 men, start to break. Keep killing. Kill, kill. How about you? Losing slightly because attacked in the rear. Yeah, imagine being these guys. There's elephants in front of you and there's a bunch of guys behind you. Yeah, this would suck pretty bad. Still in 12 seconds, we're not going to care. Charge! Six pikemen left. They've extracted the great toll from my Hindu musketeers, but this is why you have so many of them. You don't mind. There we go. That is quite a significant moment, because now Russia and I have no enemy of my enemy to worry about. Is the... Uh, oh, 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 it's still in Breslau. I am a fool. Still, I'll take it. You're no no one's within range of you're within range of Breslau. But you need to replenish. It's Prague. Where's you have you got a university? Got two happiness buildings, let's get rid of one of them for a start. You're gonna be good Islamic peoples now. So that's not the end of Prussia, but that's pretty good going. You may... Okay, you're already covering the bridge towards the Russians. Let's position you... Ready. Because eventually we're going to have to take... Well, we're going to want to take Belgrade because it's quite important to control these crossings. They're probably going to want to... Keep something going in Athens as well. I'm going to hit in turn, see what the Prussians do. Get some building done. Then I'm probably going to end the episode because we're quite... Yeah, we are over the timer. <laughs> it's panic time. <laughs> They're going, oh, nuts, 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 nuts. We better take somewhere quick. Oh no, they fail. Okay, Russia is yeah, Russia's gonna be a concern. I think the Scandinavian front is gonna be a weak point for them. So if we if we can take Stockholm, we can just keep pumping out armies in Stockholm and landing them all on the Baltic coast. Here come the rebels again. Not that I mind. We're a very happy city. These guys can be ignored fairly well. But the, yeah, the, the serious fact is going to be uh, will Britain uh, rebellion in Hanover? Not that I mind. There you go, they got it out of their system. Upgrade the Madrasa. Okay, let's send the Imam forward to Berlin. 
Cleary Fort. Good. Uh, trade port in Lubeck, upgrade the Madrasa. Roads. There we go, the Madrasa's everywhere. I know I remember in Hungary I bought <laughs> Hungary I bought a load of Madrasas. Make sure I got them all. The ideas are good. Good, good. So yeah, the main thing is I want to keep these guys here just in case Russians go up to something. Um, but they haven't. So now you... Okay, gotta get in there. Gotta get in there. Does that bring in the Russians? Yes, it does. Not very usefully. But yeah, very important that we get in. Yeah, this brings in more reinforcements. I mean, ultimately, it's not a... It's not like we need it exactly. Ooh, there is a university at Dresden. Destroy that. Prague, build a madrasa. Upgrade the roads. Good. So you've already started converting... You're going to go back the other way now. Prepare the palatial state. Occupy the global trading company. Then... This fellow's going to take Breslau. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get some support from the Russians to do it. So, thanks... Uh, but, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.